Come, let us prepare and make some good profits today. Now, the market left us some really good clues today. I want to be talking about these clues that will affect how we're going to be trading for the next day ahead. Now, members, very importantly, please review today's trade analysis and setups. I know many of you have done very well today. Please review so you understand how to be doing better every single day know what you're doing right so that you can replicate rinse and repeat it every single day now some major trades of the day today right so we caught this at 10 30 right here 10 30 a.m right if you see this at 10 30 we were still right at the top of the channel so if you understood how these buying algorithms work you would have caught the trade here or waited till orange to break out right so even if you miss this trade here i told you to wait for orange breakout here at 10.42, wait for the orange breakout. You have it, the orange breakout right here. We got a very good trade here while we were patient and waiting for the algos to break. And one very big indicator that happened right here was the understanding of a tapering channel. And I explained this, right? If you can identify the tapering channel at about 10 o'clock, you would have understood channel started tapering. There is some form of weakness. Therefore, I made the conjecture as soon as 9.44, once you understood there was some weakness in the tapering channels, and once you establish the algorithms here, take a look, 10.44, we already established it, right? A certain structure to be looking out for, and thereafter, you were just waiting for confirmation. So this was a very good first trade here. Now, thereafter, I also mentioned very important you have to pay attention to the queue, right? And you see queues forming rejection structures that are not breaking through. So this is a clue of the bulls defending this range. Pay attention to this particular level, right? We're trading the queue. Yeah, just pay attention to this level, right? And we started chopping here. There is just no need to be trading this, right? Spy was chopping at a 0 0.5 point, half a point right here. No need to be trading here. You want to take some channel scopes, fine, so be it. Great, but you know what you're trying to do. You have to be scoping right here, especially when we started chopping. And there was another trade that I mentioned that you have to take if you see it, if you prepared for it. And this trade will be important because this is what the market is giving you clues for. I will be talking about this trade very importantly right here. Right, and as early as 1.42 p.m. right here, right, I explained how you see this selling channel here, right? So at 1.42, we were still here in the middle of the channel and we charted this channel here. Now, how does this translate, right? If you translate this in the 30-minute chart here, this is the selling channel that you see, right? So when you see this in the one-minute chart, and I'll show it to you on the 30-minute chart, right? Do you see the bull flag right here? Yeah. So we got this as early as 1.42. We were prepared for this. So when you prepare for trades early, you will know what to be looking out for in some sort of micro structure for confirmation, right? So once we broke orange here, and once we broke this buying channel, right? I mentioned you can take some trades here, but you must protect the trade by the high of the day right here. So this was taken at 2.30, just before we broke out of the channel here. So you're prepared for the trade, for the breakout here. Now, this is important because tomorrow, let's talk a little bit about this. If you take a look at the daily chart, right, we are still trending up with the five-day moving average and the upper Bollinger. So member asked this question in the Discord server on whether you should start shorting this just because it's at the upper Bollinger. And I mentioned this very important fact that if the five day is trending up together with your upper Bollinger, you have to wait for some sort of basing before you start shorting, right? I explained in details yesterday's video here. You have to watch this. You have to watch this. Please take some time to watch it. You can understand when do you start shorting right here. Now, I mentioned how this five-day moving average, especially when we open 
higher than yesterday's close. So you notice higher, 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 higher. You will certainly have a five day moving average that will be trending up, right? So you have to pay attention to that very importantly. So don't short this yet until the five day starts to catch up. And that's when you may see some basing. And when you see the five day turn resistance, that's possibility for you to short, but not yet, right? Not when the five day moving average is still trending up. That means your upper Bollinger will also naturally start trending up as well. Now, the second thing I asked you to pay attention to is this 30 minute chart right here. And once again, watch yesterday's video, very important information if you have not watched this, because I explain all the intraday structures very importantly, right? How there is an inverse head and shoulder here, how there is a cup and handle here, how there is a bull flag with controlled selling here and how we have this retracement buying continuation algorithm here. And for today, look at this again. We have this controlled selling bull flag continuation that I explained in today's analysis channel right here. And now when you understand all these, it's very important that I also mentioned that we never tested the previous day's high right? Whenever we closed, we closed here, we closed here, we never tested the previous day's close. Now, when that happens, you cannot short this as yet, right? You trade as the chart gives it to you. There are some clues, you take some trades here, but thereafter, you cannot be having biases, right? Especially on the macro trend. You understand that you're good to go. You can be making money every single day, just like us. So tomorrow, you have to look out for that buying continuation. Because if this is truly a controlled selling bull flag, you want to see that same buying algorithm. So pay attention to that same buying algorithm. We need to break out at least from yesterday's high. I mean, today's high right here. So tomorrow, look out for buying algorithm, break out of the high. And that will mean that we have a continuation of the bull flag right here. Now pay attention to the previous day's close. We need to start testing it. We have not tested it for almost five days straight. Very important. So you need to be looking out for that, right? Today we tested it, but we had that defense from the bulls right here, right? Very important defense, as you see, and we broke out of it in a controlled selling bull flag. Now we have to look out for that buying continuation, right? So pay attention to that particular buying continuation here. If you manage to see this very powerful bull flag that form in this blue channel here and this blue channel, once again, it's on this one minute chart right here, right? So if you're prepared in advance, if you understood the structure, watch yesterday's video, you would have understand what to be preparing for. So don't be shorting this yet. As I mentioned, you have to look out for that certain things. Firstly, you have to look out. As I mentioned, this was all in yesterday's video. Please watch it. Watch out for the five day continuation with the Bollinger. Very important. Secondly, look out for the intraday structures, right? It's still all bullish structures. No need to short this yet. Next, you need to see the retest of at least the previous day close. Very importantly, you want to see structure testing the previous day's close. So all these I documented in yesterday's video. Please watch it. If you have today it will be very easy for you. You will understand what to be looking out for, especially with today's analysis. So please, Discord members, review today's trade setups and analysis right here. Every trade that I took and analyzed, I explained it here. Please study them. Very important, right? And also look out for tomorrow's pre-market preparation. I will be preparing you for the levels and what to be looking out for tomorrow as well. So thank you very much for watching. See you closer to opening bell.